Hey y'all, we are gonna make a quick weeknight meal. I used to make this when my boys were little. It's spaghetti and meatballs, and it's full of flavor. It's not out of a jar, and I know I've had many people I would work with, I'd say, yeah, I gotta go home. What we were talking about what we were cooking for supper, and I'd say, I make spaghetti, I'm making meatballs and spaghetti, and they'd say, you know, you can get that in a jar, but you can't get this in a jar, okay? But it's pretty quick. I had to take little shortcuts, but I don't shortcut on flavor because I'm doing homework with my boys when I was younger and trying to get everything done so everybody get in the bed, get up and do it again. Y'all know that. Y'all know that dance, right? Yes. Yeah, so um, if you don't want to make meatballs, you can just cook your beef on the stove, scramble it around, and still put some of these same spices and have meat, meat sauce and spaghetti. Sometimes I would, I would change it up like that. But today we're gonna do meatballs. Um, I'm starting with two and a half pounds of ground beef. And I know y'all are like, why so little, Amy? Cause last time y'all made it, we had 10 pounds of beef up here to make meatballs, but I did it before the holidays. So I could have plenty, I freeze my meatballs and I can do a crock pot of barbecue meatballs or a crock pot of Asian flavored. And so that's really nice to have on hand during the holidays. But today we're just gonna do a little small batch. <laughs> and I'll still freeze some of these because it's just gonna be John and me eating. Um, so I'm gonna start, let's see, we'll start with some basics. Of course, we're gonna put salt. And this is how I've always made my meatballs. But I know a lot of you want the recipe, so I'm also came up with the recipe, you know, that I posted last time, and I'll do that again. And honestly, it's to your taste. I like to put my meatballs, all the flavors, I also put in my spaghetti sauce, so they won't pull from my spaghetti sauce. Every bite will have flavor. That makes sense, doesn't it? I know, y'all saw I put black pepper too. I also have some onion powder. And honestly, this is how I do it, okay? I don't measure, so I'm gonna show y'all that today. I've also got garlic. This is granulated garlic. Sometimes I get garlic powder. Y'all please excuse Jax. He, a school bus is going by and he's just so oh, having fits. Jax, do you wish he's on that school bus, baby? He's just bored out here in the country. He has to bark at things. I have parsley flakes. This is a good time to get something that's good for your family in the meatball and they don't even see it and it's and it adds flavor but lots of nutrition so a nice sprinkling of that same thing with oregano leaves and y'all know i gotta smell it i always do mm. oh i love oregano so much just like this and mimicking the flavors again all there i have breadcrumbs and these are italian style and they have like all of that seasoning in there as well so again these are not pulling from what i'm seasoning our beef with either you can also use half ground pork in with your meatballs you know you do whatever little meat combination you want i'm gonna do a you know a couple of handfuls sprinkling that's how i do it I've got my minced garlic, and I didn't always have this when my kids were young, but since I have it today, we'll put we'll put us a little bit of that minced garlic. Oh, eggs. Y'all see these beautiful eggs from the coop? Y'all see all of them? Looks like little Easter eggs, some of them, right? I know. We need to do a little egg show again. Y'all have been asking me many questions about eggs, and I need to do one, and I want to cook some eggs and some omelets and all sorts of little egg dishes with y'all. I'm just putting a couple of eggs in though right now. And then I have Parmesan, grated Parmesan. You can buy the store-bought grated Parmesan. I did forever and a day and I still do. Yes, I do. Y'all see, I just did a sprinkling like that. I didn't always have that on hand, so I didn't always put that. And now what I need to do is take my rings off, number one. Just like this, I'm working on it, guys. <laughs> do your rings shrink while they're on your fingers during the day? Mine do too. Woo! That wasn't quite the easiest thing to do. All right, y'all, we just get our hands in here and we get busy. Yes, we do. The only other thing I love to put is some olive oil. This keeps your meatballs nice and moist and don't let them get dried out. You know, you hate to bite to a meatball and 
you can't hardly swallow it there. Y'all you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't have olive oil, you can put a little bit of milk. This olive oil container, it's real pretty, but it takes forever to get a little bit of olive oil out. I promise you that wasn't that much. <laughs> it does little bitty drizzles. So you won't overuse it, I guess. And I'm going to work this all together like this. Just like this. Well, this is cold. Cold, guys. It is cold outside. If y'all were um, with me earlier, y'all just saw a video. I just walked y'all out. I decided it's getting cold here. And so I said, we've got a new little calf on the farm. And so I wanted to go walk and show him to y'all. It's a little bull. And he has a white stripe on the back of his neck going down to his back. So he looks like Pepe Le Pew. He looks like a little skunk and he's adorable and I love it. So we went and found him. And I'm hoping y'all have seen that video. If not, I'm going to link it in the um, with the recipe so you can click it and watch it. And um, enjoy the little walk if you want to go walking with me. All right, guys, let me wash my hands and I'll be right back. Y'all, for my spaghetti, I just make about a two tablespoon, heaping to a three tablespoon size meatballs. Now, I have made huge meatballs where that is strictly your dish with a nice sauce. So, whatever size you need, this, this recipe will work on whatever size you need. It sure will. I'm going to begin scooping up. I love to use a scoop because that way it gives you the same size meatballs and so they'll cook evenly. This is my little shortcut when I would be running around the kitchen trying to get homework with my boys and cooking and starting clothes and y'all know that dance. So I would get these made real quick and slide them in the oven. Then I didn't have to stand by the stove and watching them in a skillet and turning them and flipping them and all that stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So. This is my little shortcut of sticking them in the oven. I'm sure many people do, but I did that years ago so I could get rolling with my sauce and help my kiddos with their homework. So I love that that oven will do some of the work for us and it's not splattering on us too. Y'all know how that gets. Y'all know how that gets. Let's see here. I think this burger meat that I used might have been an 80-20 or it could have been like a 17.93, I think is what I get sometimes, but not extremely fatty, but you want some in there so it'll keep your little meatballs moist and flavorful. And I love to bake them first. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. They bark so much that I say one time I'm going to have an axe murderer standing behind me and I'm not going to pay any attention. <laughs> oh, goodness. They're bored little puppy dogs. Yes, they are. Okay, guys, and I'm going to show y'all my next step. Sometimes I'll put a little olive oil on my hand there so the meatballs won't stick to my hands. But what I want to tell you and stress here is that when you roll these meatballs up, do you see how I'm sort of just lightly rolling them like that? That way they're not squished and compact. That also makes them very dry and very tough. So just lightly bring these little guys together, just like that. And I'll even get two, and I'll just lightly bring them together, like that. And that is what I want to stress to you because you're going to have a better little meatball if you don't just over, overwork him and squish him and compact him. And I know probably some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I've done them before too, but we learn. We live and we learn, don't we? So just barely roll them together. Just like that. I'm going to keep on doing that. I'll let you know how many meatballs this makes. And I'm going to slide these in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven. Sometimes I do 375. It just depends on how quick you need these little things to cook. 
and I'm gonna let them get done. I let them go 15, 20, 25 minutes until they're done through and through, and we'll get started on that spaghetti sauce. All right, y'all, 42 meatballs it made, and I'm gonna slide them in this oven and let them go maybe 20 minutes, and I'll just check them, make sure they're done through and through, and we'll get started on that sauce. Right, y'all, before we're gonna start our sauce, we got our meatballs in the oven. I've also got a pot of water that's coming to a boil because we're gonna put our noodles in there. So I'm kind of showing you how I did it when I was in a mad dash hurry as a young mom. I have got a can. It's a large can. I'll put the size in the uh, recipe. It'll be just under the title everywhere you watch it. And I love to use these whole peeled. Um, you can get them. I sometimes find them this kind in a large can. And it's already got basil, garlic, and oregano. So whatever is your favorite tomato to get. These are wonderful. I'm going to try not to splash myself. And I always, always put a little bit of water just to rinse that pan out. Y'all know what I mean? Y'all do, don't you? I'm also going to put this thick and zesty spaghetti seasoning in there. It mimics all what we just put into our meatballs. And you could probably just put a pack of this in the meatballs and make an even bigger shortcut. But I didn't, and I didn't used to, so I'm not today. But anyway, I love to make my sauce like this. And I'm going to put this, and I'll put what size it is. Um, and it's just got lovely, lovely flavors in it there. And now, what did I do with my lid? And away we go. I can already smell those meatballs. They're starting to smell really, really good. Okay, guys, behind me, I see my water boiling. So, it is time to get those noodles in there. Let's see. I put a nice, healthy pinch of salt. Again, that's how we get that salty flavor inside our pasta. And I've just got spaghetti, spaghetti noodles tonight. I can get into them. And, and I'm just going to place them down in here like that. Just like that, and I'll coax them down in there. There we go. Those will be ready in somewhere around eight minutes, and we'll try those. Okay, we blended this. We've still got some more to do. I've got a pan back here for our sauce. So I'm going to put that in there to begin with. Just like that. And finish the rest of it. I've got this little can and it's petite diced but it's got the basil, garlic, and olive oil in here. Sometimes I get it with basil, garlic, oregano. I love it with the Italian seasoning. That way I'm not pulling from any of my seasonings. I just continue to add seasoning. And I love to do that. And yes, he needs a good rinsing, so I'm gonna put me a whole can of water there because we are about to put some tomato paste. And this was just plain tomato paste. I got a big box of it at Sam's. But if I'm not doing that, then I get some that's also flavored with Italian seasonings. But this is what we have today. This does that really nice concentrated flavor and sometimes I worked with the um a girl Virginia hey Aunt Virginia and she taught me to toast this in the pan prior to cooking this but we're gonna do the quick weeknight spaghetti that we always fed the boys my boys and so I'm not gonna do that tonight but we will do that another time too there we have it I'm going to pour this right in here. Try not to make a mess up in my kitchen. And then as you see, we've got lots and lots of flavor left in here. So again, I'll just get a little bit of water. And there we have it. I need to get y'all over here, don't I? Hello everybody, I'm back with y'all. I know y'all always see me looking back and forth and back and forth, but I'm filming 
one way for Facebook and one way for YouTube. So just play like we all sitting here together and I'm having to talk to everybody, okay? And that's kind of exactly what's going on, isn't it? I'm just stirring my pasta around. And we will try that in a moment. I like to get mine just done where it's not real soft and soggy, what they call al dente. I love that. And do you know how they'll say, and it's fun to do, to get your spaghetti and throw it, and if it sticks to the refrigerator or an appliance in your kitchen, that it's done. But actually, it's a little overdone if it does that. So um, we're not going to do that today, but it is a fun thing to do. All right, I've turned my fire on over here. And I'm going to begin to heat this. What I will do with this sauce, I will bring it to a nice boil and cover it and then turn it down and let it simmer, waiting on those beautiful meatballs to come out of that oven. Just kind of makes everything get to know one another and condense it down a little bit. Brings it together like a lovely little sauce. So, 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 so good. And if you want it to have a little more garlic or a little more onion or a little more oregano, then you do that. I am going to add a little more oregano because I tell y'all I love it. Well, I do. So I'm putting a little more oregano and just a little more onion, a little more garlic. Maybe a little pinch of salt and some fresh ground pepper. And I bet that's going to fix it right up. What y'all think? I'm going to let it condense down just a little bit, though, before I taste it again. Let's try us a, a spaghetti noodle. I always just stir and make sure there's separated really well. Let's see, guys. Mm. Couple more minutes, they're gonna be ready. I've got a little bit of a, a crunchy snap in the middle, but not much. Okay, guys, I drained them. What I love to do now is I take this olive oil and I give them a nice little coating and that way these can sit on the stove a little while and wait on us to eat. To get ready, set that table or whatever you're doing. We gotta go feed. <laughs> it's supposed to get freezing temp, so we're gonna go hang everything up real good tonight. And I thought I'd take y'all along with us. I'm probably gonna do that in another video though. Okay guys, you see how that gave them a nice little coating? They won't stick together. They will wait on John and me. They sure will scoop them out of the way, and we're going to get back over here to this beautiful little sauce to go in. I want to tell y'all, this sauce, lots of young people have had this sauce at my house growing up, um, and I would hear, Aunt Amy, please teach me how to make this, or even different ones, friends of my sons would come out here. Ethan, I'm thinking about you too, babe. And they want the recipe to this sauce. And you see, it's so easy. It was just a young mom, me, <laughs> was, being the, uh, the little word there, right, was. But anyway, I wanted to feed my kiddos something that was really good for them and really tasted good and homemade. But you see how quickly we have put this together. But it's got really good ingredients and really good flavor. So... This is what I came up with. So when they would say they wanted my recipe, I'd think, well, it's not anything special, but it was to them, and it tasted that way to them. So I'm wanting to just share that with y'all. We are going to check on these meatballs. we got to get them in the sauce, and we got to make some garlic bread. Ooh, what's some pretty meatballs. And y'all see that? We didn't have to work at all. We just let the oven do the work. Great time saver. 
All right, I'm going to add probably about half of these in our sauce now. That will feed John and me, and the rest I'm going to cool, put in a little freezer container, and it'll be a snap, snap meal next time, right? I don't know about y'all, but, you know, the chef or the cook in the house is definitely the quality control, right? So let's find us a little meatball and see what we think. Yum. They're still so hot. So hot. And they even get caramelized on the bottom. Oh my God. Hmm. Mm. He's smoking. Hmm. Perfect seasoning. Not dry at all. Nice and tender. Just kind of melted in my mouth because we didn't pack them together to roll them. So good. Hmm. What'd you say? I said, I'm all about it. You all about I'm it? I'm all about it. You need to be quality control mm, too, darling. Absolutely. All mm. right, here you go. Now, it's hot. Can you handle it? Ooh. <laughs> mm. Does it have any flavor? Mm-hmm. 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 Lots of flavor? Mm-hmm. Well, you see, we've got a meal for another time mm. too, huh? We eat it tonight and then another mm. night. Mm-hmm. We gotta go feed those cows, don't mm -hmm. we, baby? I'll put that on another video, but I'll we're gonna go hay the cows for it. Gets freezing mm. temps on us tonight. Ooh, that's good, baby. Is it good? Maybe we can find one more of them. Hmm? You need to find one more. Maybe, maybe, no, he's too big. So let's go find a small one. Find like a him. small one. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I see him. Mm -hmm. I see him. Oh yeah. Mm. You better blow on that mm -hmm. for a little Thank while. Thank you, baby. I, I, I'm gonna take your advice <laughs> on that. Mm. That's almost more than I can handle. Mm. He was hot. He was hot. <laughs> he was hot. <laughs> All right. Well, we need to go hay the cows, and we'll yes. see everybody back here for the blessing, huh? Yes. Yes. Get y'all over here to look at this pretty sauce. Look how gorgeous. You see how it's condensing down? See how you can look on the edge of the pan right here? And it's condensed down. It just gets nice and even more flavorful when it does that in thicker do you see its consistency's thicker now? It's made a nice tomato gravy, hadn't it? Yes, it has. Stir as many meatballs in as you like with your sauce, and you are ready for dinner. All right, y'all, we've got the meatballs out of that 400 degree oven so we can slip our bread in there. I've got some things that we're going to put on our bread. Let's see, what did I do with my parm? Hello, oh, right in front of my face, okay. Yeah, all right, so, my hair's squiggly, I know. I stopped and I went and hayed cows with John and I took y'all on a ride, it'll be on another video. But, I'm just apologizing because I know, I know my hair is squiggly. <laughs> when I get out into the humid climate of Louisiana, I get squiggly hair. Y'all do that? I do that too. All right, I have got um, a Italian bread loaf or a French bread loaf. I don't remember. I don't remember. And I'm slicing this in half. It doesn't matter though, does it? They're both good, right? I know. Any kind of bread you love. Slicing these in half for us. This is all John and I will eat. We probably won't eat that much. But if you've got a big crowd, you do a whole big old loaf, okay? I actually put this back in the freezer and it didn't take just a few minutes to thaw and we've got fresh bread again. So that's a good little old thing to do. Yes, it is. Slide that forward just a bit. I've got a half a stick of butter. If you do a big thing, do a whole stick of butter. I think y'all get this thing, right? I've got some more of this olive oil. Sometimes when I'm in a mad dash hurry, I just drizzle olive oil and throw it in the oven with the, some garlic um, powder. But today, we're going to take a little bit more time and we're going to put some of this minced garlic or fresh garlic. But this is still a little time saver, isn't it? Just a little squirt of that. Yeah. That's going to be good. I know it. I think so, too. I've got some parsley dried flakes because it's winter time. If it's spring or summer and I've got some fresh parsley, yes, put that. I do too. And let me get a little more olive oil. I need a little more olive oil, guys. Whew, we fed cows, hate them, 
and put the chickens up and fed Cricket the kitty cat. And then when I was coming in the back door with y'all, I realized I didn't have bird seed out, so I went and put bird seed out everywhere. And we talked about how we're gonna get all the cows in the barn because it's supposed to start sleeping on us. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. Um, and I've got Parmesan. Grated Parm or that the buying the store that comes in the shaker thing? Yes, any of those is good. And let's put a good bit. We'll save that for our spaghetti. How about that? Yum. Okay, guys, and I'm mixing this around. So all it was was some parm, parsley, butter, and olive oil. I love that mixture. Do y'all too? And some fresh garlic. Yum. Doesn't that look good? I think so too. Oh, I wish y'all could smell it. All right. And I'm just going to paint it on here. Very generously. Yes, I am. We're going to use it all. <laughs> right? We've been walking this farm today. We deserve us a nice, warm, good piece of bread, don't we? Yes, we do. Try to get it evenly. I'm going to slide this in the oven and get it toasty, toasty, and I will see y'all back here. Do y'all see this goodness? Jack's upset because the electric men are here. Thank you, electric men, because my canning kitchen lights went out. And I've got a freezer, you know, a deep freezer and a refrigerator down there. So they're fixing it real quick. Look, look, look. I'm going to show y'all up close this goodness. Yummy, yummy, yummy goodness. I let it cool just for a second, and I'm gonna cut. Use your serrated knife to cut your bread so you won't just squish it and you actually saw into it. And then enjoy. Come here, come here, tell everybody. Man, that smells so good. <laughs> Golly, you kept looking at it in the oven. I was like, man, that smells good. I know every time I opened the oven, it was just teasing mm, us, wasn't it, baby? Mm -hmm. I know it. Wee. All we need is you to bless this food and right. we can help our plate, huh? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for this meal, for this time, Lord. Lord, I ask you please be with the families hurting tonight. People in our prayers, please, Lord, be with our nation. We love you so much, Lord, and thank you so much for the day. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, y'all. See y'all next time. Yeah, that smells good. We just need a little, little bite of that. Do we need a little bite? We need a little bite of that. A little that. teaser bite, baby. That, that little corner right there, boy, it looks so good. Okay, Charlie. Man. It is so hot. I bet it is. Don't burn yourself, will you? Let me get a fork. Don't burn Did yourself. You me me get a you, fork? Let me get you a fork. Yeah, I, I need something to hold it fork. steady. Yeah. I told everybody to let it cool. Let it cool. Let it cool. Yeah. I ain't, I'm not good at that, see? I have no, no patience skills on that. Uh-uh-uh. Let's see here. Yeah, there you go. Get a big old piece. Get your piece there. Sawing through it. If it wants the dog on hot, see? I know, you, I'd you grab can it. Deal with it. Right. Right. Woo! Jamiri? Yes, ma'am. I'm bad. You're bad. I'm bad. I'm going to get it in a minute. <laughs> yeah. All right, darling. Mm. Yeah, see, that's, that's the little spot right there is what I want. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's hot, ain't he? He is hot. <laughs> trying to, <laughs> trying to yeah, pull it apart. I can Gracious, he's hot. Mm. Come here, mm. Arnold, so mm. I can see you. What mm. you think about it? Mm. I think this is not going to be near enough. Mm. That's our little appetizer. Mm, that's good right there. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, darling. Mm. Jack's is upset at the, oh, yeah, the electricity man, and we're thankful they showed up. Yes, huh? we are. Yes, we are. Mm. Mm, that's, that's good right there, baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Mm. We're ready to eat. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> mm. I 
I've got me a freezer bag out. Any freezer container will work, and these meatballs are completely cooled. So to get cleaned up from tonight, I am going to put these in the freezer. They will be ready for next time, and all we've got to do is just put them in the sauce and let them thaw. Right, I know, great little shortcut. Great, great little shortcut. You could also make meatball sub sandwiches. Yes, you could. Um, also, the parm that we were grating with on right here, I stick it in a freezer bag, put it on the shelf in my freezer because he'll get lost in there. So I stick him on one of those shelves, you know, on the door in the freezer. It won't mold or mildew and it'd be perfect for you. And it really grates very well while it's frozen. So that's another little tip. Y'all know I said I put the bread in there. It won't mold or mildew, and it just takes moments to thaw, and it's just like when you bought it the day at the store. And I love that living in the country because I can't just run and get a fresh loaf of bread every day. And then also, I also want to share the breadcrumbs that I buy. They come in this cute little paper container, but they don't last too terribly long in your pantry, and they'll last almost forever in a jar in the refrigerator. So that's what I like to do with them after I open them. This was a brand new container and I just opened it today. Y'all say we hardly used any out of it, those meatballs. So I'll do this. This will keep on the door in my refrigerator for ever and a day. I will definitely not have these ruined before I use them um, in the refrigerator. And if you want them to keep even longer than that, you can put this in your freezer as well. Just make sure you have enough room for those breadcrumbs to expand a little bit because um, this is a little full for freezing with the lid on it. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to show y'all a little bit of my cleanup and some things, what I do with my leftovers so I can enjoy them another day with my family. I'll see y'all next time.